Peace, peace, y'all. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and, you know, first of all, like, share, subscribe, Cash App, you know what it is. I just wanted to sit down and speak on, on the subject that's been, you know, it's kind of been going on for the past couple of weeks. Really, with this guy, uh, you know, we're talking about a few years now, you know, and, um, a lot of it has to do with um, the critique he's been getting and the, and the hits he's been getting, and rightfully so. But just just think about a dude who you're trying to, you know, he, he's come up, you know, high school dropout, um, you know, went into the streets, hustled back and forth, you know, doing all types of little hustles and grifts to move ahead. And you know, literally went into adulthood doing nothing but hustling and grifting and, you know, basically scheming his way through life. No, I'm not talking about Jay Morrison. I'm talking about Tariq Nasheed. All right. But somehow Jay Morrison, at least according to Antonio Moore, you know, Tone Talks, the man who founded Eidos with Yvette Carnell, he seems to have this guy in his crosshairs, all right? As Jay Morrison, as you know, started this so-called fund called the Tulsa Fund, okay? And, and basically, it's something where people invested $500, and it's been about three years now, and they got a return of about, what, 10, what is it, $1 and, and, and change per year, so... If you got 10 shares, you got maybe $11. If you got, regardless of what you have, you got 50 shares, I mean, $50 for a $500 investment over three years. I mean, the, the shit is, I mean, what is in like, I guess in 10 years, 15 years, you get your money back. It was it was a scheme. It was a scheme. And and Jay Morrison, a guy who I used to like, I, I used to like him. I, I got caught up myself, but I just... Over time, this dude just turned out to be a real scumbag. But I find it, it's funny how Antonio Moore, who's made several videos on this dude, attacking him and one, you know, obviously the fund, it turned out to be a scheme. One day I'll make a video detailing all of that. But one of the main stickler points he attacks Jay Morrison about is the fact that he never finished high school. And Jay Morrison is, to his credit, and I'm tired of hearing the story, he's always talks about how he was a drug dealer and, you know, he's, I mean, he, he basically propped up his story to the point where he's like, yeah, I did this. Like, he, he'd say something like, I've been to jail. Like, you know, he was this big time drug dealer that went to jail and he was Monster Cody in prison and, he was a drug lord. Nah, he was. He probably got caught up in a sweep. <laughs> he probably was on the block, you know, doing dumb shit. He got caught up in a sweep and he, he went to prison. Then he said, well, I, I had two felonies by the time I was 21. If you had three felonies and you came out quickly, hmm. It just, obviously, you're just like, wait, hmm. It just makes you think. Somebody started, somebody spoke and Jay Morrison knows how to talk. But... Antonio Moore keeps attacking this dude that because he doesn't have any education. He didn't graduate high school. How could he how could he lead anything or how could you respect him? But a second ago, you say that about Jay Morrison, but a second ago, you align with the dude in Tariq Nasheed, who has the same background. Jay Morrison didn't finish high school. Tariq didn't finish high school. Jay Morrison's a hustler. Tariq's a hustler. Jay Morrison schemed as his way through um, people out of money, right? May not have been, I don't know if it was illegal or not, but he schemed them. So did Tariq, all right? Tariq, I've always said over and over, Tariq, he's, he's not done anything illegal, but he's a fucking schemer. He's a grifter. He basically sells you, I've, I've already said, he's a used car salesman. But how is it, that Tariq Nasheed, who you knew never graduated from high school, never had any formal training, you aligned with him. And then when Tariq tried to debo your movement, 
which is literally what he did, right? Schemed on your movement and deboed it and come and literally tried to destroy it with that FBA bullshit. Now, you you didn't even open your mouth. I mean, you went at Jay Morrison's neck and you did hour long and two hour long videos and Jay Morrison, who's all the way out in, down south in the East Coast, you're in the West Coast. Meanwhile, Tariq Nasheed, who personally came at your neck. And when he came at your neck, he was calling your names and he called you gay. And he said, you know, the, um, the what you call it? He, he, he called you froggy and all this other shit. He's right there in Los Angeles with you, nigga. And when, the, and when that happened, I remember the video. I need to find, maybe what, if I find that exact video, I'll put it in the, in the, the um, comments. You, you were, were so timid and so you didn't even want to insult, dude. Like, well, well, you know, I, I don't like how this is going. And, you know, and uh, we really didn't. It was your vet who really became the bulldog. So you stayed in the cut. You had to say something or you just, if you didn't say anything after he tried to take over your movement, you had to shut the fuck up all altogether. But it was your vet that became the bulldog. Really, Michi gutted him. But Yvette dissected him. But she went in on him in several videos. And you being the man, you're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to at least have one video attacking us. There's so much information on this dude. But you ran behind Yvette. And after Yvette finishes dissecting him, then you run on. You you don't even mention dude's name. You run on, on her um after the show and, and call in and you just... You know, you don't even mention Tariq. And I just find it interesting that you will come after Jay Morrison. And again, I'm not sticking up for Jay Morrison. Jay Morrison is, is a fucking scumbag. I get that. But so is Tariq. And Tariq personally attacked you. And for you not to go after Tariq and mention the same thing, Tariq had the same come up, almost like you're afraid. Matter of fact, when you made your first video after Tariq tried to try to make the split, you Tariq called you. She he he told you he said you don't have any charisma. You can't lead. You even had to say, oh well, look, see, I got charisma. I'm I'm good. He made you look weak. He made you look like such a such a mark, and you said nothing. To this day, Tariq takes shots at you. To this day. And you just, you avoid him. You avoid him. But you but you try to use uh, Jay as a punching bag. And you got all these people in the Umar sector saying, oh, well, why y'all always banging on on, on uh, Umar? This guy bangs on Jay on, on the regular. All right? But the point is, how do you have so much courage to go after Jay, a guy who you know is not going to come out to the West Coast, you know he's not going to see you, but Tariq, who's in your wheelbarrow, no words. Your vet has gutted Tariq about, she had about four videos. She went after him three times after, you know, he tried to, to take over your movement. And then she she went after that FBA, you know, that, that fuckboy conference nonsense, that three-hour church service, whatever the fuck that was. She was the one. She had more balls than you. So when I, when I see you going after Jay and, you know, you get Tony the closer and with, with the Jay Morrison thing, look, I haven't even gotten to the logistics. There are tons of people who made videos about this dude already. All right. They pretty much showed how much of a scam this is and how this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. There's this one guy, this uh, accountant dude, I'll leave his, his, um, I'll leave his link in the description as well. There's a couple of guys where Jay just needs to just shut the fuck up and just stop stop talking. What got it with Jay, it wasn't even the details of the plan or the little return. Jay Morrison, when he's always, when he just, what does Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X and the revolution and all this, when people start talking about that shit in something like finance, all right? And he has... 
you know, pictures of all these revolutionaries. What does really, what does revolutionary has to do with finance? And that, if anything, revolutionary is the opposite of, 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 of um, trying to get into capitalism. It's the opposite. It's funny. Um, false prophets. False prophets. Uh, and you guys need to go to that site. Actually, I'm going to be a sub to that site. That site's a good site. I like that site. But <laughs> they had a little skit. Of Jay, when Jay Morrison mentioned his the return, the one dollar and like eight cents return or whatever the hell that was, they did a skit with New Edition. Anyone who knows the New Edition story, when they started off, you know they had the number one song, they they were popping immediately, and they after all the tours and and the concerts and everything, they came back to the hood. And they received a one dollar and eighty cent check, split up through all five of them. You know what I'm saying? And they they show a video of they they make a correlation between Jay announcing his returns and New Edition in the the New Edition movie where what's his name Brooke Payne, their manager, basically came back and he had to confront the mothers on on the check and how much how much those kids earn. But see, the difference is this. Brooke Payne, Brooke Payne has been New Edition's choreographer forever. He did a really good job with the group. Right? He's he's just, he's an example of what, of how important it is to have a strong black male presence amongst, in the community. Because he really, with all their trials and tribulations, he really, um, he really maneuvered that group from childhood to adulthood. He, he really did. But, the difference between Brooke um, explaining that money, Brooke had a vested interest in these boys. Brooke was using his own money to keep these boys afloat. That's the that Brooke had had a vested interest to see these guys succeed. To the point he sacrificed his own time, his own his family probably. And just a side note, I did not know that Brooke Payne was Ronnie DeVoe's uncle. I did not know that until the movie. I didn't know that. That which answers a whole lot of questions regarding Ronnie DeVoe. No disrespect to Ronnie DeVoe, but you know, the, the manager is your uncle. That answered a whole lot of questions. But yeah, he had a vested interest in these boys. All right. It wasn't about money for him. He wasn't just trying to make a buck out of them. He's trying to rise up with them together. Whether, you know, because his 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 nephew was in the group and their friends, he had a vested interest. Jay Morrison doesn't have a vested interest like that in the people who donated. This is a business. The but basically this one dude said, yeah, Jay Morrison. He, this ain't about him helping the black community. This is a business, and this is what makes this such a scheme. In that he's trying to to guilt you because you're black, when the fact is, this is a business for him. But the point is, my original point with Antonio, you can't be a pussy out here. You can't go after Jay, which everybody's piling on to Jay right now. Everybody, and rightfully so, but you're just, you know, you're like throwing rocks in the background at this point, where you can't make one single video on Tariq Nasheed, who came up the same way, you can't, but maybe you're just afraid to admit, gee, why why did I hook up with this guy who has the same background as, as Jay Morrison? Was it because Ados wasn't getting any traction and you got Tariq, who has the mind of a couple of mental midgets, a couple of dudes in the rest of development in their life, who he can, and, and has a bit of a cool factor? This guy with freaking, you know, 50 year old with corn braids and, and, and a freaking, you know, place part and what have you, but you feel that he can bring some sort of cool factor to your movement. And then after he guts your movement and personally insults you, do you have nothing to say to do? So it's very hypocritical. You can't, you, it's easy to go after Jay Morrison because obviously everybody's going after him at this point. And I, I get it. You and your vet kind of got the ball rolling, but other people had wind of it too. You're a bit of the prominent voices, but you can't keep using this whole Jay Morrison ain't go to school. 
he's uneducated, he's a high school dropout. Well, so is Tariq. And you had no problem hooking up with him. And you can't you can't sit down there after kissing that dude's ass, right? And not say a word about him. To this day, Tariq is taking shots at Ados and smacking you dudes. But you got nothing to say. I, I just find it very, very cowardly, a bit of a cowardice on your part. And, you know, eventually I'm going to speak on Jay because this... this <laughs> This man, he just did an interview, man. I, I need to do a review of that interview. But anyway, that's all I got to say on this. Like, share, subscribe, peace, and um, big up on yourself.